Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see what is the use of embedded ID annotation in Spring Boot or Spring Data JPA. Okay, so let's get started. So this embedded ID annotation, it is basically a part of the Spring Data JPA and is basically used to define the composite primary key. Okay, so it is basically used to define the composite primary key. So now the question arises, what exactly this composite primary key is? Okay. So now whenever we create a table in a database, in a table we always have a primary key. So primary key is basically the key that can uniquely identify a record. Okay. So now suppose there can be a chance, like there cannot be a single key which can uniquely identify the record. Okay. So in that case, we combine the two different key and we club them and we make them as a primary key. So that that unique that can uniquely identify the record. So that combining of two different keys to make a primary key is basically called the composite primary key. Okay. So here it is a composite key also known as the, also known as composite primary key is a key made up of two or more columns. Like I was saying, which will be made up of two or more field in a database table that uniquely identify the record. So these two column will be able, will help you to uniquely identify the record. I mean, but simply like a primary key will, a single field will be used to uniquely identify a record, right? But here two fields will be defined, will be used or clubbed together to uniquely identify a record. Okay. This means that the combination of values in these columns must be unique across all rows in a table. Okay. Composite keys are used when no single column can uniquely identify the record. As I was saying, a no single column or a field can be there, which can uniquely identify the record. So multiple columns are needed together or clubbed together to ensure the uniqueness. Okay. So this was about the composite primary key. So now we will see how we can handle this in the Spring Data JPA because whenever there was a single primary key, we used to use at the rate of ID annotation, right? But now how we can use this two different keys which are clubbing together to make the primary key. Okay. So we will quickly move to the Spring Tool Suite and we will see how we can use the embedded ID annotation which can solve this composite key or composite primary key problem. So here we are on our spring tool suit here we have an entity class called product and in this product class we have a field called product ID, vendor ID, product name and product cost. Now suppose this product ID and vendor ID these cannot uniquely identify the record. So I mean we cannot use product ID or vendor ID as the primary key. So what we are going to do is we are going to club them together so that we can use them as the composite primary key. Okay. So what we will do is to make these two as the composite key, we will create one more class and uh, we will just name that anything. So here I will name as product composite. Okay. So here we have named it as product composite and we are going to take these two fields in this class. Okay, and on the top of this, we will just use the embed table. Embed table annotation. Okay, so now we want to embed this particular class in this so that that can be used as the primary key. Okay, or the composite primary key. So here, what we will do is we will use here product composite and we will just say composite key okay and on the top of this we will use the embed table id okay so now with this we can make sure like the combination of these two fields are basically called are basically used as the primary key okay so that's the use of embed table id which can be used as the composite primary key so now when we are going to create the repository class, so how we have to handle because in the repository class we used to define the, I mean we used, we have to give the ID field, right? So one second, I'll just show you. So now I will make the repository in this only and we should make it in the different, uh, you know, uh, package. But for the time being, I will just use the same only here. I'm just saying product repo. Oh, sorry. It should be an interface, right? So product repo, repo, we will say because it's the same name. Okay. 
so here we have to extend the jpa repository okay so now in the jpa repository we have to define the two things first is what exactly is your entity class so our entity class was product okay so here i will be using the product so now here we have to give the primary key right but we don't have the primary key we have a composite key so that's why here we have to give this product composite and on the top of this we have to definitely use the repository annotation right 